Black Myth Wukong is establishing itself as one of the most popular games in 2024. I'm thrilled that the game lives up to the hype, and I've been thoroughly enjoying it over the past week. Since I'm playing the game on my Linux PC and there's limited information about it online, I wanted to share my experience with you. If you're considering trying this game or other recent titles on Linux, I'm confident this video will provide valuable insights. Out of the box, the game works almost flawlessly on Linux. During my 10 hours of playtime, I haven't encountered any major issues. It's remarkable that a cutting-edge AAA game like Black Myth Wukong runs this well on Linux from day one. However, there is a performance issue because it's a DX12 game, unfortunately, at least with an NVIDIA card. During my testing, I observed that the GPU usage never reached 99%, typically hovering between 95 and 97%. This indicates that the game isn't fully utilizing the GPU's potential. Consequently, the frame rate is significantly lower than on Windows. NVIDIA's forum has reports of this issue, which appears to be related to VKD3D. Additionally, the developers have stated that older NVIDIA GPUs are more severely affected. Fortunately, if you're using an AMD GPU, the performance should be comparable to Windows. It's disappointing to see that even in 2024, NVIDIA remains the inferior choice for gaming on Linux. Another aspect I'd like to discuss is the graphical issue I'm experiencing with the game, specifically the global illumination problem. As you can see in the video, when the global illumination quality is set to medium, there's significant flickering in the shadow areas. The issue is significantly reduced when the setting is set to high and visually disappears when set to very high. However, this specific setting is one of the most performance intensive, resulting in much lower frame rates if I want to avoid the flickering. Of course, you can completely avoid this issue by setting it to low, but the resulting image will be flat and unappealing. It's important to note that the issue seems to only exist when using DLSS. If I switch to FSR, the flickering disappears. However, you'll be greeted with blurriness around the character instead, so unfortunately you'll have to choose between two less than ideal options. With my RTX 3060 GPU, global illumination quality set to very high, and at 1440p resolution, the FPS drops to the 40s. While still playable, it's not ideal. In my previous video, I ran the benchmark tool in DX11 mode and observed a significant performance boost. However, as you may know, running a benchmark is vastly different from actually playing the game. So, how does playing Black Myth Wukong in DX11 mode compare? The answer is mixed. The FPS is increased, but so is the stuttering, which I believe is due to shader compilation. What I mean is that whenever a new element appears on screen for the first time, there will be noticeable frame drops. For example, when I open this casket for the first time, there will be heavy stuttering but when I open the second one, the frame time will be smooth. The FPS boost is also quite significant. You'll notice the GPU usage is at 99% all the time. And in my case, I observed a 20 to 30% performance increase. This means I can simply set the global illumination quality to high to eliminate the flickering issue and still achieve decent FPS. So is the trade-off worthwhile? In my opinion, yes. The stuttering only affects my gameplay when a new enemy appears, especially a new boss. However, since I'm not very good at this game, I almost never beat a boss on my first attempt. By the second time I face the boss, everything is already smooth. I do hope that the DX12 performance issue will be resolved in the near future. At this point, NVIDIA is still not the optimal choice if you primarily game on Linux. I'm stuck with NVIDIA due to other productivity software, so I'll have to learn to live with the various issues, including this one. I'll create another video discussing all the NVIDIA problems in the coming weeks. This is a heads up for those who like to tinker with various settings on their PCs. If a game uses Denuvo for DRM purposes, don't benchmark all versions of Proton with it. I was curious about the game's performance with different Proton versions, so I tried them all, but I got locked out of the game for 24 hours. It turns out that every time you use a different Proton version to run the game, it's considered a new installation. 
and de novo only allows five machine activations per day. So this issue affects not only Black Myth Wukong but also all other games using de novo. Black Myth Wukong is currently creating a lot of buzz online, and I believe it's a very interesting game, especially if you're Asian and familiar with the basic story of Journey to the West. However, the game isn't for everyone. Additionally, at this time, the game is far from well optimized in terms of performance, even on Windows or PlayStation 5. So if you're interested in the game, I suggest waiting for a few patches before purchasing it. If you're a Linux user like me, don't worry about compatibility issues because the game was rated gold at ProtonDB.com on day one, and it will only improve in the future. I don't know. 